Glenn Parker, High Vibration Foundation. Forgive my voice, I'm a bit in the way of horse, <clears throat> but I'm going to try to go ahead and get this done. I wanted to talk about Twin Flames again, and the idea, first and foremost, <clears throat> that you're, you are your own Twin Flame. You need to be in alignment with yourself, you need to feel that you're whole, you need to feel that you're complete, and that you can't energetically match with your twin flame or your twin soul, whomever you have these agreements with, whatever sex they happen to be, whether it's the same sex or whether it's opposite sex, unless you are within energetic alignment of yourself. If you don't love yourself, um, if you're having a lot of personal issues with being able to be in alignment with the things that you want to have and the things that you want to do, um, or even if you're putting in the way the fact that you have yet to realize your twin flame or your twin soul, <clears throat> that is putting an energy block into the alignment of actually finding that person because you need to be energetically on the same page. You can't, it's superposition, collapse of the waveform, law of attraction, manifestation. You can't realize anything until you're a vibration of it. <clears throat> so if your ideal partner life partner, twin flame, twin soul, is the type of person who's not putting obstacles in their way or if they're not actively seeking this type of relationship and they're let it organically type of unfold and that's what you want to see in your life. If you're not doing that, you're not energetically in alignment with your twin flame or your twin soul. So you can't realize that person or maybe you catch a glimpse of them or things get a little confused because, you know, there's energy there, but you're not able to make a differentiation. Um, it really comes down to, excuse me one moment. <clears throat> Cheers. <clears throat> That's a little better. What's in there, Glenn? What isn't in there? <laughs> Spinach, kale, uh, an apple, uh, and some raw meal powder, and um, carrot, and carrot tops, and wow, I just, whatever. It all goes in there. <laughs> so, as I'm coming back to this energetic alignment and this agreement, if you're not within alignment of yourself, so it comes down to non-disinterest, non-attachment. You're not disinterested in this person, but you're not attached to an outcome either. So that way you can keep all of your energy for yourself. You can go forward in joy and in love. And when you do come across someone, you will just know in that instant, as they will know, there'll be a recognition on an energetic level that can't be verbally communicated. And you can feel that. And to say that you might not spend your entire lifetime with that person, you may only have an energetic agreement to spend a particular duration of time and have a certain experience and move on and maybe even reintroduce yourself into that person's life and spend more time down the line or it may be forever, quote unquote, in this lifetime. <clears throat> because we are immortal beings and we have manifested into physical reality and now we are remembering that we are immortal and that we are timeless and that we are energy. These, this stuff here is the illusion. It is a fun illusion. It was meant to be, to go into forgetting and to come back into great joy and great love and to remembrance. So if you remember more that you are an energetic being and allow your energetics to be more important to you, I you know sometimes it's hard when you're less full or you know you find somebody attractive and you're trying to see if energetically this is the person that you've been looking for <clears throat> but I'm gonna propose this the person that you're looking for is in the moment and I'm not saying a slut type of behavior and you know I'm not even judging that if that's what you like that's what you like I don't have any issues with that what I'm saying is that whomever you're with in each moment is your life partner is your twin souls your twin flame because you're interacting with that person now, you know, energetically, deeply more down onto a sexual level, if you wish to share with those people that you do spend time with, that's a different type of thing. <clears throat> but all of your energetic agreements, all of your energetic alignments with all these different people are the people you're supposed to be interacting with and in that moment. Now, there can be deeper 
constructs, for instance, now you're, if you want to call them a twin flame or twin soul, somebody that you have a really deep connection with, maybe somebody who's the same aspect of your oversoul, a uh, same aspect of the same soul, um, and that you wanted to play this game where two aspects of yourself had a relationship and spent time together to see it from two different points of view on a higher level. Um, so there's there's a ton of different games, and everybody's playing different games. Um, and I would say lose judgment on any other people's games if they want to play it a certain way. That really energetically gets all the fluff out of the way and allows you to be more in alignment with your true nature. And your true nature is fun. It is excitement. It is being, it is being playful and being in the moment. So whomever you're spending time with in the moment, you can consider them your twin flame. And then if you want to add um, more to that in the relationship, uh, if you want to take it to a higher level sexually, if you want to share those types of energetics with that person, um, <clears throat> you know, you can make it so that you don't have to have all these attachments to the relationship that you're having with this person. Just let it flow and let it unfold in the easiest way possible, because that is the easiest way. To, that is the easiest way to find your twin soul, your twin flame, your twin lovers, because. When you're in energetic alignment with yourself and things and synchronicity is abounding and things are just coming and things are easy and things are fun and things are within your excitement, that is the energy state of the person that you very likely made this agreement with <clears throat> in this lifetime to spend time with who wants those types of things, who wants those same types of things. They want things to be easy. They want to have fun. They want to be energetic in alignment. And boom, there they are because you are allowing these things. So it really is energy physics. It is about allowing, allowing, allowing. And uh, I mean, I'm not Italian, but I do love to use my hands. Um, <clears throat> I don't know where that came from. But in any case, it is really important if you do want to realize someone that you energetically have a pure relationship with on any level, whether it be monetarily, whether it be sexually, whether it be a travel companion, um, a friend with benefits, whatever it is that you're looking for, whatever it is that evolves, um, not putting labels on them, letting them energetically unfold, taking all these societal labels off of them are very important things and make it so much easier to interact with other people. You know, you don't want to put this label on somebody, oh, you're my twin soul, my, my twin flame, um, because energetically that might be a little compressing for some people. Um, or if that's what you really, really, really seek and that is heavily your interest, just make sure there's no need on it. I want to find, and even that is the wrong syntax. I want, that means you're always going to be a wanting. I would like to allow in the simplest way possible and the most fun and exciting way possible persons into my life that would be an energetic alignment with my goals. Is a very nice way to preface anything so that if you do have an intent for a lover, a lover will show up in that context. If you do have an intent for people that you can share and exchange money with, it can come in that context. So <clears throat> the wanting always gives you wanting. Um, setting a context is so important in these types of things and having a context of what you're looking for. Uh, so if you want somebody that wants things just as easily as you, somebody that has the same ideals of you, same types of situations they'd like to do, like to do the same types of travel, or like to sit home and watch TV and smoke pot, whatever it happens to be, or go to the gym and exercise. So whatever it actually happens to be, to be you want them to be in energetic alignment. So just be in energetic alignment with what you want to do. Pre-state your intentions, maybe in the morning or throughout the day, that I like to see, I like to realize the things that would make me happy and bring me into my full and highest excitement. And uh, I'm... I'm I'm allowing the things that can come to me in my highest excitement that are that would be for my best benefit and the benefit of all involved. It's those kind of constructual contexts that are really important. <clears throat> that you keep it so that it is the benefit for everybody involved. That you don't put conditions on it because when you put conditions on things, it's really hard to read other people's energy because your own energy is already kind of flubbly and it's not allowing things to flow in and flow out. You're compressing yourself, you're compressing your energy. So if you do come across someone that you think might be an energetic match within a certain alignment, whether it be monetarily or sexually or a new friend or what have you, it's a lot harder to recognize those things when you're putting 
labels on them. So if you just let things flow and let them be easy and just kind of step back, they start to work and they start to work very nicely. So that's really my recommendations <clears throat> is energetics of the situation since it is an energy match, it is an energy alignment, it is realizing someone on a particular level, you need to be on that level. I've had other videos that talk about these things too in different type of detail. But I think this is more energy alignment, energy physics of yourself <clears throat> that you need to be happy and you need to be content in the situation you are right now so that you can better realize the things that you're that you're wishing to see and manifest in the future. So I hope that's helpful. And uh, I'm glad that I was able to do this, even with Mr. Froggy in the throat. Um, Glenn Parker, again, Glenn Parker, High Vibration Foundation. And um, I like to say coaching, life, spiritual, and business. It includes Twin Flame. Um, I do have some recommendations for people who are looking like for Twin Flame astrology and things like that, because that always had interested me, but I never really got deep into it, though it is, I think, um, energetically an interesting way to look at things. Um, working also on the Bashar Space Time Antenna, there's information about that below, so thank you very much for watching. Again, Glenn Parker, High Vibration Th Foundation, thank you very much, and have a lovely day. Oh, and please comment, like, and subscribe.